Good morning. I may not be known for a lot of things. One thing I'm definitely not known for is my world famous grilled cheese sandwich. Ah, but first, I'm gonna make myself uh, a world class smoothie after that workout on the stairs. It was hard. Oh God. Make it stop. Hmm. All right. So the first thing you need is a stove with a frying pan. Turn the stove on, oh, I don't know, three, four, somewhere around there. That's pretty good. You're gonna need a spatula for a spatula for spatula. Some bread. I highly recommend you use the bread that you like the most. Some big thick white Texas toast cut. Mm, that's probably the best. You'll need some cheese. Cheddar as a start, as a base. You'll need a little bit of shredded cheese. This is a mix of cheddar and matzo, perfect for pizzas. Jalapeno cheddar works awesome. You'll need some Parmesan cheese and some butter. We have the uh, base cell margarine fake butter. If you have real butter, that is even better. Real butter is better. Say that fast three times. Did I say I'm not a cooking channel? Okay, I think this pan's heating up okay. I'm not a cooking channel and I don't freaking know how to cook. So this is gonna be interesting. So I have no idea how I'm gonna hang on the camera and do this at the same time, but work with me on this. If you're still here, you might as well be in for the long haul. There's one piece of bread. And there's two pieces of bread. Now, if you do prefer heels, that's great, but they aren't the best for grilled cheese sandwich. I have no idea if this is in the shot. This should work. Okay, so we take the base cell, put a little butter on our back side here. Be generous, because you want it to cook in. You want it to brown nicely. Again, real butter. Mm, that's the stuff, but uh, here we're working. We're working with what we have. Let me just move this out of the way. Is anyone actually watching this? Okay, here we go. This is the secret ingredient. The Parmesan cheese. Now, if you had fresh Parmesan cheese, I imagine this would be so awesome. But again, work with what you have. This is what might be in your mom's, in your mom's uh, refrigerator right now. You never know. A couple pieces of cheese. I'm gonna go with three little slices here. Now, this is opens up room for a great debate. Do you like uh, processed sliced cheese? Like, you know, those little Kraft or Velveeta slices? You can put one of those on there too, but I don't think it's best to mix the, the regular cheddar with the processed, because it just doesn't quite come out the same. But what you can do is put a little cheese whiz on top of your slice when you're all done. And oh my God, there you go. You got a little piece of heaven on, on your bread. So we got our bread, our cheese on top of our cheese, put our bread on top of there, and we'll just let that settle in. Now I know what you're thinking, Wayne, you can't just eat a grilled cheese sandwich, and you're right, I'm gonna make fresh soup to go with it. World famous fresh chicken noodle soup on a rainy day like today. Why not? Now anybody can make chicken noodle soup at home using a very similar technique to this, where you take a can over and you open the can, you make a mess, and you pour it in the pot. And I just take some water, put it in the can here. Let me share that. There we go. And pour the water into the chicken noodle soup. I have a secret ingredient for this as well. It's called pepper. Now, if you don't have pepper at home, you can grow your own from the world famous pepper tree. You should probably sell those online. Again, I'm not a real cook, not a clue what I'm doing. I think this bread's working nicely. So you can see on this medium high heat, we have a little bit of cheese bubbling up here that's uh, oozed out the side. This is perfect. Now for the big flip, Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that stuff on top. Again, did I mention real Parmesan cheese? Grate that on there, oh my God, you, you have no idea what you're missing. 
Now the art of flipping a grilled cheese sandwich with a spatula single-handed is probably lost on me, but here we go. Look at that, look at that color here, that sizzle. Dang, this is gonna be good. I got a spoon here. Give her a chicken noodle soup a little turn. Now if I can share a little story about this uh, grilled cheese recipe. Oh, that's horrible. Don't do that, it's cold still, it's gross. When I was a kid, my mom used to take me to this, well, I was a kid, I was an older kid. I was, you know, whatever, I was a pre-teen. There's a restaurant in our little town, and it used to be called Eric's. I'd meet my mom there at lunch sometimes when she was working, and they had grilled cheese sandwiches, and they made them very similar to this with the Parmesan cheese. I just added over time, added different cheeses. I think it's best to just start with um, a regular cheddar, and then you can add whatever you like on there. If you have a uh, gonzola, gondola, Swiss a fettuccine, whatever the kind of cheese you like, put it on there. But the root ingredient, the key ingredient, is that cheddar, that little cheddar snap. It doesn't have to be old, medium, mild, it all works the same. Give this a little stir here. Look at that. Might need a little bit more pepper. Oh, still cold, don't do that. I think this grilled cheese is just about, I think this grilled cheese is just about done. Give it a little flip and look. Oh my goodness, look at that goodness. Put that on the plate. Oh, that's, that's how you do it. And here's the best part. So you got these little cheesy bits on here. Just sprinkle those on top. Give it a little shake. Chicken noodle soup's coming along nicely. I'm just gonna turn this up just a smid. Now right now, we're, we're waiting for the soup. Our grilled cheese sandwich is just a smidge hot. We're not gonna cut it right away because we're gonna let the cheese cool just a little bit before we cut it. If your mom is like my mom was and you're using her kitchen, you would want to clean up before she got home. Um, if your wife is like my wife or your girlfriend is like my wife, um, you better clean up before she gets home. And now is the perfect opportunity. No need to leave all the plates lying around and everything else. We can just clean up as we go. So we'll put the cheese back in the... We'll put the cheese back into the refrigerator. Give that pan a little wipe out. You know, I have never seen a cooking show where they've actually cleaned anything. They just make a mess. A mess all over the counter. <laughs> dirty, <coughs> oh my God. They dirty all the dishes. So not realistic. This is about as real as it can get. Once again, this is not a cooking channel. I do not know how to cook. Now you got a portion sink like this, don't put a pan that's hot into the bottom. Your mom will kill you. Little dish soap. I think our soup is ready. I got this awesome high quality plastic ladle. Try and get an even mix of broth with noodles. I have no idea what to talk about. Really fancy. That's, that's bonus marks for presentation right there. Look at that. Lunch is served. That is how I make my world famous. Grilled cheese sandwich. Don't you wish you had one? Wow. Oh, God, that's good. Oh my God, people. Mmm. Wow. Try the soup here. Mmm. I'm freaking too hot now. What the?
Cleanup does not have to be a chore. Hello? Cleanup does not have to be a chore. Nope. <clears throat> Let me just put the, put the pot in the water, near in the sink. Remember, don't put the hot ones in there. Um, some warm water, a little bit of soap. Take a cloth. You can take a, anything you want. 